Senator Bayak, can we just ask really The conservative leadership has tolerated Lynn Bayak's past intolerance, defending Canada's notorious residential school system. I don't need any more education. I've been involved since we double dated when I was 15 with an Aboriginal fellow and his wife. Bayak insisted her views were correct, even widely held. There was two sides to every story. We have 700 letters we're making a binder and we'll make it all available. And that was her undoing. She posted hundreds of those letters on her website. At least one contained language conservative leader Andrew Scheer called racist. It called indigenous people lazy. I demanded Senator Bayak remove this content from her website. She refused. As a result of her actions, I have removed Bayak from the Conservative National Caucus. Lynn Bayak isn't returning calls, but her son, Nick Bayak, is, launching a staunch defense of his mother and an attack on Andrew Scheer. The majority of Canadians agree with the comments of Andrew Scheer. It's disgraceful that there's people in that level of power that have that lack of courage. And Canadians deserve better. Andrew Scheer isn't doing interviews, but the implication from Scheer's statement is that Bayak could have stayed in the caucus if she had simply followed his orders and removed the offending letter, raising questions as to whether this expulsion was as much about insubordination as it was racism. Oh, Canada, Scheer's office won't say if Bayak could have stayed if she removed the letters, a spokesman saying he wouldn't answer hypotheticals. As to why this final straw looks a lot like the previous straws, Shear's office had this to say. There's a fine line between espousing distasteful views on a public policy position and willingly promoting unacceptable racist comments. I think it's a decision that they probably could have made many months ago when this first uh, started up, and I'm not surprised, and in fact, I think it's a good move. The NDP goes further. Her race baiting is unacceptable, asking the Prime Minister to reach out to independent senators to use their tools to have her removed. But the likelihood of that is low. Bayak hasn't committed any crimes. Short of that, there's no way to force her out. David Cochran, CBC News, Ottawa. Her opinions may be unorthodox and unpopular, but Lynn Bayak isn't shy about sharing them. Mistakes were made at residential schools, in many instances horrible mistakes that overshadowed some good things that also happened at those schools. That was Bayak last year. Critics say her candy-coated views trivialize the trauma and indignities experienced by residential school survivors, prompting her removal from the Senate's Aboriginal People's Committee. Then last August, an open letter on her website to First Nations. Trade your status card for a Canadian citizenship with a fair and negotiated payout to each Indigenous man, woman and child in Canada. Well, that saw Bayak removed from three other Senate committees and led to calls for her resignation, calls which are being renewed again tonight.